Princess. Welcome back to my channel, Melissa Dunn Makeup. Um, yesterday was my birthday. I turned 28 years old. Like, what the heck, you guys? Time just flies. Like, I can't believe I'm 28. Anyways, today I wanted to film my birthday haul and show you guys some of the products that I got because my husband is so wonderful and he took me makeup shopping for my birthday. Hey, yeah. So you guys know that I'm super excited about the things that I got and I am so excited to share them with you. Um, I've been up to so much this week. Like, I've been like doing all that DIY stuff, like do-it-yourself stuff. I've become like a crafter. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the things that I've been crafting. And I'm really just super proud of myself because like, you guys, like I am not an artistic person. Like I am with like hair and makeup, like that's my thing, but when it comes to like crafting, like I get lost, like I, I get like, I'm silly. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys some of the things that I made and even though some of them may not be that great, I'm proud of myself for getting it done. And my husband's been out there building things in the garage and like playing with all of his tools and he made me a wine rack, and he made me a few things. I can't wait to show you guys those things as well. So, let's jump into my birthday haul, and yeah, let's get to it. What shall we start with? Hmm. Well, let's start with this, you guys. Okay, so, I went to the Bare Minerals store, and look at this bag, I love the bag. It says, hello gorgeous, like it's talking to us. Thank you. That's what I tell my back. Thank you. Hello, gorgeous. Thank you. Sweet. <laughs> so, I was out hunting for this bronzer by Bare Minerals. OMG, you guys are going to die over this. Okay. So, this is the Bare Minerals, the first resort sun kissed complexion trio. Here's what the packaging looks like. Do you see this brush? The brush. The brush says it all in this little kit. So I was out looking for this. I went to Ulta like a month ago, maybe a month and a half and ago, a month and a half ago. And this freaking Bare Minerals first resort thing was all out. And I thought that like I wasn't gonna be able to get it because I thought it was like a limited edition thing, but it's not. So it's at the it's at the Bare Minerals store, and I was all sad, like, because I couldn't get a hold of this dang brush. So, anyways, I wanted to show you guys what the brush looks like. I absolutely love it. Here is what it is. Gorge. What it looks like. Look at this cute brush. I love it. Like, I love it. Like, I can't wait to do all my bronzing with it and just play with it and do all these things. I don't know why I start talking like this. Okay, so it came with this fantastic bronzing brush, which I like that it's fan, it's very light, and oh my god, I can't wait to use it. I'm so excited about it. Yes! So, here is what the bronzer looks like. You guys, this packaging is to die. This is it the Bare Minerals. It's so, so cute. Like, you guys know I get so excited about this stuff. Here's what the bronzer looks like. Gorge. It has, like, a matte shade to the left and some shimmery shades to the right. Shimmery bronzers, which I really appreciate. I like mattes. You know, shimmers can tend to get muddy if you're trying to contour with it, so I really appreciate that there is a matte bronzer in this and it's super beautiful I just am really really excited about it and it's definitely at your bare minerals store so you can order it online or go to the store and pick it up and I also saw it in Belk does anyone know what Belk is because when I moved to Virginia I'd never heard of a Belk but they apparently carry bare minerals in Belk weird I don't I don't get it weird so then, it also came with a Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Lip Gloss, which is absolutely gorgeous, you guys. It's so pretty. I'm going to put it on right now, actually. Yes! Super pretty right over my lipstick, so that's going to be super pretty. Let me show you guys what this looks like. So this is the lip gloss. 
gorge. I love all the gold and like the bronzy looking stuff. I'll swatch it for you so you can see it. That's the color. Super pretty, you guys. Like, I love it. It's perfect for summer. Great color. Fantastic job, Bare Minerals. Thank you. Okay, so the next thing that I picked up from Bare Minerals was the Aphrodisiac Blush. I saw this blush and I was talking to the one of the girls at the counter about it. And it's just super freaking pretty. Like, it's your everyday kind of a, a blush. Like, I like super bright blushes. I like pinks and, like, fuchsias. And, like, I go really crazy with blush because I just love it. But this one is more toned down. It's more natural. And I really, really think it's super beautiful. So I definitely think the Aphrodisiac is a great universal color. I think this would be beautiful on tons of people. So I absolutely love this. Can't wait to use it. It looked gorgeous on the girl in the store. So yeah, love that. Let's throw some of this stuff out of the way. And the next thing that I got was the Bare Minerals Ready Luminizer Duo. And I was looking for a highlight. And this is super pretty too, you guys. You see? Super duper pretty. Just to like dust the tops of my cheekbones with it and highlight anywhere I want with it. It's super, super pigmented. It's gorge. You guys. Stunning. Yes, to the Bare Minerals. So yeah, that's what I picked up from Bare Minerals. And I'm super pumped about it. And I just threw that blush on the ground. So let's hope that it doesn't break. Okay. So when I said I went to Belk, like there's only a Belk at this mall in like Fredericksburg. So, and they carry like makeup. I, I don't, I think it's more of a Southern store. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's like a Macy's, but not a Macy's. I, I don't know, but they, but I went in there. That's all I gotta say is I went in. Okay. That's what happened. I went into the Belk and I got caught up at the makeup counter, of course. Okay, so I've been wanting to get this foundation for a really, really long time. It's the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place foundation, and my color is 3-in-1 Ivory Beige, number 10. This is what it looks like. Super pretty. I love the packaging. Um, this is definitely a full coverage foundation. Um, it covers everything on my face. Like, I have some unfortunate sunspots and some things on my face that I am not super duper proud of, and I think I just got lip gloss all over me. Perfect. Anyways, um, if you're not into a heavy-duty foundation, this probably isn't the foundation for you. But if you're looking for something that does give full coverage and stays on all day, this is fantastic, and I would highly recommend it. Um, I think this is one I probably won't use during the summer. This might be more of a nighttime foundation going out, you know, with your friends, dinner with your husband, you know, whatever event kind of foundation. I absolutely love it. I think it's beautiful. It stays on. It's fantastic. Like I always say, I absolutely love it. So it's a great foundation. I'm going to chuck this out of the way. And then I ordered online something from the bomb, the Mary Luminizer um, Highlight Shimmer. This is what the packaging looks like. Like, how cute is that, you guys? The Balm has amazing packaging and amazing products. So, I definitely would suggest ordering from the Balm because it's fantastic. Okay, so this is a highlighter. This is what it looks like. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is another one that I would use the highlight and dust the tops of my cheekbones with. I could use it as a shimmer for my lids, like all over my eyelid, and... You know, I would just dust my whole body in this because I think it's so beautiful. This is the um, swatch of it. It's just super, super pigmented. So when you're dusting this, like if I just went and like wiped it on my face, that would be way too much highlight. So just um, be sparse when putting this on because it definitely is pigmented and super duper fab, which I love. So the next place that I hit up for my birthday was obviously Sephora because Sephora is my sacred ground. I walk in and I've said this before, I just am like, ha, oh, birthday, yes, to Sephora makeup, <laughs> to the Sephora store, whatever. You guys know what I'm trying to say. Okay, so 
I picked up the Kat Von D eyeshadow palette. Looks like this. I've been really wanting to try some of um, her makeup. Like, I thought, why not? Like, I have so much stuff. Like, why not get this palette? The palette is super pretty, super pigmented. Like, here is what it looks like. I love the butterfly. I love the color. It's so cute, the palette. And I love how flat it is, so it's very easy to take with you when you travel because it's flat and fits into anything. And I really appreciate stuff like that since I feel like I'm always going somewhere. And I'm going to try to show you these colors without being crazy. This is what the palette looks like. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh my goodness, you guys. Let me see how many colors it comes with. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it comes with 12 um, eyeshadows, some mattes and some shimmers. They're really, really pretty, you guys. Super duper pigmented. I will swatch a few for you of the colors. You guys, this is going to be a fantastic palette. I cannot wait to play with it and do some looks. Have some fun play it around okay so I also had to pick up the Kat Von D lock it tattoo um, foundation this is 24 hour wear I know that tons of people have already done one trillion and cabillion reviews on this but I really wanted to try it it says it has a matte finish it's transfer resistant it's oil free and it's for all skin types so this is what the packaging looks like I know that this is going to be a heavy-duty foundation so Again, if you're not looking for heavy duty and you're more of a light wearing foundation, this probably isn't for you because when I swatched this in the store and I put it on my hand, it legit like covered up my entire hand. Like there was like no, you, it legit like camouflaged my hand. It was really almost creepy, the coverage of it. But I wanted to try it, see if it lasted, see how it worked. So let's give it a go, Kat Von D. Let's see what you got. Let's see if you're worth all the hype. Okay. La la la. La 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 la. Okay. Let me grab some of this stuff out of my bag. Oh, why do I do this? Okay, so I had to pick up this Bite Beauty Lipstick Crown. I believe. Yes. Matte Cream Lip Crown. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is the color, I don't know how to say it, Satsuma. You guys know I'll probably bomb that. This Bite Lip Product stuff, I absolutely love, you guys. It's fantastic. This is what the packaging looks like. It's super cute crown. It's kind of tough to get off. This is the color. Look at how pretty, 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 pretty. Let me swatch it for you. This is what it looks like. You guys, this is so gorgeous. I cannot wait to wear it. And I love that it comes in like a crown that you can just twist and turn up. Like, I really, really like that. I can't wait to try it. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm obsessed with lip products, you guys. Like, I can't. I can't. Okay. So then I went by Too Faced and picked up the Too Faced Melted Liquefied Long Wear lipstick and these aren't like your average lipsticks this one is in the color nude melted nude and the lipstick comes like this and kind of like a glossy type packaging which I think is kind of cool I like the idea um, I'm excited to try these out these are supposed to be long wearing as well and I'm going to swatch it so you guys can see the nude color. This reminds me a lot of Blankety, which you guys, I'm obsessed with Blankety by MAC. This is what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's right there. It's a beautiful nude. I can't wait to try it and wear it. Gorge. And I also got one in Melted Fuchsia, because you guys know. I love my bright lip products, lip colors. Anything that's bright and sassy, I'm going to wear. Yes, I am. This is the packaging for this one. It's super cute. I love Too Faced. Like, ugh, packaging. It sells. It's a selling point for me. Oh, my God, you guys, look at how pigmented this is. Ah! Super gorge. I can't. Look at that. That's the fuchsia. I cannot wait to wear it. It's going to be so pretty. Okay. 
so excited about those. Okay, so I also wanted to pick up this um, BB cream for the eyes by Smashbox. This is supposed to do like a ton of things. Let me read it off really quick. Okay, so this is a five-in-one product. It hydrates, protects, perfects, corrects, and illuminates the under eye area while instantly reducing the appearance of dark circles. So I've been really, really, I love concealers. I love highlights. I like anything that's gonna bring light to my eyes and make me look younger and more sassy. So this is what it looks like. I can't wait to try this. And yeah, I hope it does all the things that it says it does or else I am going to be one unhappy camper, okay? It's gonna be okay. Okay, so I also picked up, oh, the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This is an anti-crease eyeshadow primer. This is what the box looks like. Oh my god, the box. Like, why is all their packaging so cute? This is the Shadow Insurance. I just like trying different primers. I think that, um, yeah, I just like it. I just like to see how they work, see if they're going to be worth the buy for you guys and worth it for me. So, yes. So this is the Shadow Insurance Primer by Too Faced. Super excited about that. Let me get this stuff off my hand. Okay. So because it's worth my birthday. Oh, I also got some samples of the Smashbox photo, photo Finish, the clear one, the oil-free one, and my favorite, a sample of my Better Than Sex Mascara, which I already have a ton of, which I love. So, okay, so since it was my birthday yesterday, I got a little gift, a little baby gift, and it's called For Pros For You by Makeup Forever. This is what the packaging looks like. So cute, you guys. I'm excited. I got a little, little baby lipstick and a very little baby mascara. If I can get the lipstick out. Why? Okay. So here is the little mascara, my birthday mascara, baby. And this is the 6N Artist Rouge Natural Lipstick by Makeup Forever. It is a baby as well. But I like it. It's super cute. It's very, very nude. Nude as well and super cute. And I love how tiny it is. Like, look. Yes. Love it. Okay. I also picked up one of my perks. My, um, five. I picked up the Peter Thomas Roth. Is that what this is? Like, skincare kit. I don't know. There was two to pick from. This one, the skincare one. And a Laura Mercier one, which I was like, oh my god, which one do I get? I really like both. And then I thought, well, I'm 28. May as well get the skin product one because it's probably the one I'll probably need the most. So again, your beauty obsession rewarded. <laughs> Put that VIB Rouge out of control. And it came in with some really good sizes. The 500 perks are like really great if they have a great product for you. So I get excited. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Anti-Aging cleansing gel which look at the size of that you guys i am so excited about this um this is oil free anti-wrinkle technology it rejuvenates clarifies brightens with glycolic acid <laughs> and fruit extracts for all skin types so i am so excited to try this out it comes with the peter thomas roth clinical skincare laser free um, regener regenerator moisturizing gel cream and a firming peel gel, a peeling, a peeling, a firm peeling gel exfoliant. Um, it says the visibly roll and lift and sweep away dead skin, scars, dead skin cells when massaged onto skin. That's what that looks like. Can't wait to try that. And it came with one more little thing that is the cucumber gel mask which is super cute and super tiny, and I can't wait to try this stuff because I will go back and purchase it if it is a great product, which I've heard it is. So thank you, Sephora, for all my gifts. I love gifts. You guys, gifts are fantastic. Okay, I picked up a few hair products by Joyco. I got the um, Joyco Firm 09 Finishing Spray. This is a super duty, heavy duty um, hairspray. This isn't for like working with, this is for the after, when you're done. Like you don't spray this while curling, this is too heavy. 
but this definitely has great hold. Um, yeah, and I really like it. I'm really loving the Joyco products, you guys. I really, really enjoy them. And I also got the Joyco Power Whip and the Whipped Foam Mousse. And this is like a great memory hold. For me, since I have such fine hair, like I always say, I need something in my hair to give me some hold because it's just so blah. Like it doesn't do anything unless I put something in it. And I really like this. It smells fantastic. It gives great hold when I want to do a blowout or curl my hair. I love it. So you put this in wet and you blow dry your hair out, obviously. So yeah, I got this mousse. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Then I went to... Obviously, Bed Bath & Beyond. And we did the three for three with my husband. So I got three lotions and he got three whatever men things. Three man things. So I picked up the Sea Island Cotton She and Vitamin E Body Lotion. Which I love the scent of this. Because it smells like clean cotton. Which I'm sure we've all smelled this because it's been in there for like ever. And then I picked up the Pear Blossom Air. And this was like, I think this was like limited edition. Oh, oh my gosh, it's, it smells so good I could eat it. Like, I love lotion, you guys. I love, I love everything. This one was my favorite. And it is the French Lavender and Honey um, Lotion. Oh. Mm. <laughs> I would do that, you guys. I would. I really would. Okay, now that that's all over my face. You guys, the scent of this, oh, oh my God, I love it. it. Smells so good. Yeah, the lavender and honey is my fave. And I just squirted that everywhere. Okay, so yeah, that's my birthday haul. And I'm super, super excited about the things that I got. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am going to show you guys some of the um, DIY stuff that I've done. And I'll probably just add it on to this film so you guys can see some of the things that I've been doing this week which is pretty crazy like I'm shocked myself so anyways um, thank you guys for watching I hope you guys enjoy um, this video and please subscribe or give me a thumbs up and yeah thank you guys I hope you guys have a great Easter and I will see you guys again soon bye love you Okay, so I wanted to show you guys some of the projects I've been working on. This is one of them. You guys, I'm not good at crafting, but I made these and anybody can make these. Super fun for spring. Honestly, it was so easy. I feel like really kind of sad about it, but really proud of myself at the same time because I think it's super cute. Um, I took four wine bottles and I wrapped them in twine and I just took flowers and buttons and just lace and ribbon to make the outside to spell love and I just added some flowers for Michael's so super easy to do this you guys and it's so fun it's super pretty so yeah okay so really quickly I wanted to show you some of the other things that I made really quick um I burn candles like so much it's out of control from Bath and Body and you know you spend like 22 I actually buy the two for 22 when I do buy the candles but I didn't want to throw away these containers so I made them and I decorated it with some rock and I thought that I would just use the space for anything makeup that I wanted to put in here like q-tips or cotton swabs or you know whatever I wanted to use it for as like storage for my makeup for my vanity so I thought that was super duper cute and my husband he made me a cute little picture frame out of wood so that I could hang my ring on this at night it has a little hook I wanted to show you guys it's so cute so yeah this is how this works how cute is that? So you hang your ring on it and it just stands. You can, cause I can't wear my ring at night. So yeah, that's the kind of stuff that I've been up to this week. I've just been being crazy with crafting. <laughs> Anyways, um, if you guys want any videos on how to do any of this stuff, I would be love to show you guys. And I hope you guys have a great Easter and I will see you.